went out to the Pro Combine, you came here, talk about the tests you did today as opposed to out there. You ran your 40 today here. Sometimes we see guys like yourself not run the 40 here. Tell me the thought process there. Um, it was all how I felt. Um, I was in Indianapolis, I was mentally prepared, I was physically prepared, you know, been training for for three months. Um, so, you know, I had my mindset, I had my mind made up on, on running everything, doing everything, being active in all, uh, mm -hmm. participating in all the drills, and I did that. And uh, the results were, I was happy with my results. Um, today, the pro day is you know, just the day, so you know, if anything went wrong, you know, not have to another opportunity to impress the coach, to impress the scouts. And, I mean, the only thing, you know, the 40 wasn't where I, I wanted it. I felt I had more potential on the 40, so I took advantage of that opportunity today. Um, as far as everything else, I was happy with my numbers in Indianapolis, so, you know, there was no need to come here and, and improve anything else. So 455 in Indianapolis. Was your best 40, was that correct? Uh, 4 5 3 was the four, official five, three. Okay, yes. so what was your best time you heard here today? I, I don't know yet. I haven't so heard We heard anything. a 4 3 8 and a 4 4 3, but that was on the handheld. You, you know, didn't hear anything. I didn't hear anything, and you know, whatever the coaches have, whatever the scouts end up coming up with, I don't yeah. think the official time, and that's just what, what it's going to be. Okay, well, do you remember your other best results in Indianapolis? Be it vertical um, or broad? Vertical, I jumped uh, 35, broad jump was 9 10. Um, um, you do the bench there? Bench, I got 23 reps. Oh. Uh, you know, all oh, the drills were fine. Yeah. Uh, uh, six yard shuttle was an 11, yeah. five. So, you know, I was happy with where my numbers were. So, you know, there was no need to come out and try to prove yeah. it again. Now, you're an intellectual type guy, deep thinking guy. You had the Wonder Lake go for you. How was that experience? I don't, I mean, the Wonder Lake is what it is, but it wasn't the hardest test I had. It wasn't, right. you know, the final exam. National political economy, so I, I've had worse. How do you feel you did? Yeah, reacting to those type of questions and uh, had that all go for you? You know, I have a younger sister who's about four years old, and she will drive you insane. <laughs> I think her and the Wonderlick should have a run for it. I don't know uh, who <laughs> wins. She must be a pretty sharp one. Oh, right? she's a, she's she's spectacular. Okay. And now, what was the rest of the week like at it? You're the only turf at the NFL Combine. What was the honor like? And um, did you see it run into any other like former pros, old school pros, who may remember your dad from back in the day? It was like, interesting, you know. Like that? Every day, I ran into somebody who did something with my father. Mm. Whether it was old college roommates, old college teammates, pro teammates, pro doctors, uh, pro interns, pro scouts. Pro coaches, uh, I ran into a little bit of everybody. Uh, people who played with them, coached them, uh, trained with them, did a lot of things with them. You know, it was a positive experience. You know, go through and see guys still yeah. doing well, and you know, it was, it was it was fun. Okay, and where have you been training the last couple of months? I was in um, API in Phoenix, Arizona, um, directed by Mark. So it was that was a great experience. Who think. else was out there? Any other chirps or other household names? Uh, Robert Griffin, the third, obviously. Uh, Trent Richardson trained with us. Um, Big Poe, uh, Nick Perry, uh, Matt Khalil. Um, a lot of guys. Norris Jenkins, Isaiah Pede, Brandon Harden, um, Ace Jack. I mean, there's a lot of people out there. It was, it was great. How do you feel you stacked up against some of the running backs like Pede and whatnot? Uh, Pede and Turbin, you know, we, we grew a friendship. We grew a bond out there. So, I mean, Pete's a great back, Turbo, great back. Uh, it was a great opportunity to be out there, share skills, uh, hide into each other's secrets. Um, it, it, was, it was just fun. It was all around fun. You know, any opportunity to come out and get better is, is, is fun. You know? And where do you improve the most in that period of training at a desert yeah. um, Probably my natural, probably just my hands. Uh, just getting them as soft as I can, getting them, you know, sticking them out there, throwing my hands out, get the ball. Um, Hand-eye coordination, uh, change direction. I felt as if I got better physically and athletically. Okay, and who's your agent and what kinds of scuttle are you doing? Um, my agent, my agent, my agent is Adisa Bakari, and he just needs me to get better every day and, and, and do the best I can everything mm -hmm. I do. Do you have any individual workouts coming up with teams that you uh, He would know, and I, I don't know yet. Okay, so what's your next step after today? You want um, to my next step that? is to go out to eat with, with with the parents, hang out with the family a little bit. Oh, okay. Um, Could you stay in town? You yeah, back I'll say, I'll, I'll, be, I'll probably be here. Um, okay. I'll be here and probably around the East Coast a little bit, but more, more time here than anything. And draft night, where are you going to be? Draft night, I will probably be either in my house or 
somewhere random. I haven't decided. You see, in your house, your family home, and uh, Ransomville? Where, uh, where, where, where are we? Probably in home in Clinton, but oh, Clinton, if, not, sorry, if yeah. not there, probably driving late at night or yeah. doing something off the chart, something not normal. There you go. Home. All right, last question. When you, when you hang up the cleats, what's when you move on after football, what does uh, David Knight want to do most in life as far as profession or career path? You're a double major, right? What else? That's so far away. Um, hopefully, it's very far away. Hopefully, hopefully it's very far away. But when I'm when I'm looking at the rack to hang the cleats up, just hope I have something in mind. Yeah. What, any idea of what field? Football. Something to do with football. All right, David.